Welcome back to ETV. Now it is grad week this week and joining me today is Bert Glandon. He's the president of CWI to tell us a little bit more about now that you've graduated high school, what do I do? Bert, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you. Thanks for having us here today. Now, tell us about, I, I got a question for you. I'm sorry to interrupt. No. The whole community college, I don't know entirely how that's different from university level. Well, community college really is community-based. We're driven by the local community, and we uh, we don't offer BA degrees or masters or PhDs, mm -hmm. but we have uh, certificate degrees, we have associate degrees, and they lead into college transfer, which uh, directly transfer to universities. But another part of our driving force is the professional technical training programs. We do a lot of workforce development. We do a lot of continuing ed, lifelong learning and continuing ed, as well as we have a huge component of remediation, developmental ed, which helps prepare people to come to college. We also do a dual credit in the high schools, which help a smooth transition between high school and the first two years of college. But a community college, quite frankly, is really the most cost-effective way to get your first two years of higher education in, in terms of a transfer degree. And it seems like it's a really nice way to transition, both financially and educationally. Absolutely. The financial component is huge. We're about half what a university cost is. Wow. Now, as far as CWI goes, um, I've heard that you guys have done very well. <laughs> <laughs> that would probably be the understatement. Nationally, we're, we're being recognized as probably the fastest gr uh, growing community college in the country. Uh, to, to what we've quadrupled in size in the first year. That's and, huge. And starting with a thousand students, that's unbelievable. And you just had your first graduation? At first graduation Friday, it was uh, one of those uh, uh, literally heartwarming events. We did it outside, uh, uh, low budget. We, right. we, <laughs> we're in kind of a, a, we tried to figure out the best, most effective way. We had friends and families. We had 400 graduates in both the apprenticeship programs, GED, associate degrees. But we had well over 4,000 community people show up to celebrate with us. That's, that's just a huge turnout for that. Absolutely. Now, as far as upcoming classes for summer and fall, what do people need to do in order to get dialed in for that? Well, we are so far ahead of track right now. If, if you're thinking about coming back to a community mm -hmm. college, if you're thinking about if not even take, going part-time, just taking a course, you really need to get online or come out to any one of our campus sites. We're in both Ada and Canyon County. And your website is? Uh, uh, CWI. Dot, dot, uh, edu. So uh, get, have them just log on to our local website and get hooked in. Perfect. More mm -hmm. ETV coming up right after this.